after that, you guys had a pretty solid, you know, stable life. Everything was going well. Um, obviously, the Kings traded him to Vancouver. Vancouver, yeah. you thought you were there for a while. Then, you then you know, signs with Montreal. Stanley Cup run. Gets traded. Goes to Calgary. Crazy summer. How have the last... You, you were in four cities in three years. There's trades galore. There's players leaving. Calgary, again, was really nuts this summer. How's this been yeah. for you? Uh, you know, the, as a, a family member in the NHL, like how, how, how do you deal with all this chaos? The Toffoli tour to Canada. Um, <laughs> right. You, you still have to hit uh, Winnipeg <laughs> though. eh? that's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I can't handle much more change at this point. Um, I know everyone goes through it in the sport though. Um, you know, honestly it was interesting. He was, we had a very solid thing in LA. Um, he got traded to van, van was amazing um he was on van for what seemed like way longer because of the bubble yeah but it was only uh, like uh 10 games really that's the weird part right or no 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 no. sorry 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 it was uh it was more than that well he went to the playoff bubble so he was on the team through the summer okay. but it was because um i mean if it had been a regular season it would you know what i mean like it it seems like he was there for way longer and the um, bubble year was weird it was just like yeah a, lost all concept of time really yeah um so that happened and then he we signed or he signed in montreal um and then crazy i was i was here uh for super bowl and it happened the next day when he got traded and you know you hear rumors you're not stupid mm -hmm. <laughs> you know i'm i'm very active on twitter right? I, ever, I know that a lot of times twitter is quite right in terms of sports leaks and stuff um and but it was early it was valentine's day and that's i mean when, when's trade deadline like march yeah <laughs> march something? uh yeah okay he got traded yeah. on valentine's day valentine's day yeah um mm. day after the M's one um so i was home for super bowl i had a flight to go to montreal the next day to go back to montreal yeah. um but he was on the first flight to calgary so I rerouted, um, went from LA to Calgary, caught his first game, kind of helped him get settled a little bit, went to Montreal um, to move, uh, and we had quite a lot of stuff there because, you know, he signed for four years, so we were kind of like yeah. settled. Um, and so it, it takes kind of a long time to get like movers and stuff like that. Well, I was going to um, ask, are you an expert packer at this point? Or like, do you have boxes that have gone from <laughs> LA to Vancouver to Montreal without opening? Well, you know what? We've I think we've moved now like like nine times in two years. Um, that's that's but, too many times, Kat. Well, but here's the funny thing: I'm I'm getting good at it, or I was I'm fine at it. Tyler doesn't get the memo of what to bring. So like the when he got when he got traded from LA to Van, he was on a road trip. So you know that's that's not his fault. He was in Winnipeg and he only had like a backpack oh. full of stuff, like a quick road trip. Yeah. This time when he got traded from Montreal to Calgary, he panicked and because he didn't he didn't know what to do. And I wasn't there. I was here for right? the Super Bowl. And he packed like one like one outfit. And <laughs> good enough. <laughs> in a like backpack and then just like was in Calgary. And I was like, you have a closet full <laughs> in, in LA and Montreal. And oh my God, now we're like literally clothes no clothes in calgary so yeah um he's not great at that <laughs> i can just picture him like showing up to the airport with a toothbrush and being like all right let's go like time to <laughs> yeah he like landed and he was like "Ooh, i don't have any outfits <laughs> or clothes i was like see you tomorrow no, Cat, can I'll you can you fly in and bring me clothes is that essentially what it was Honestly, I don't think he asked for help because, you know, but I'm just like, all right, well, I'll just, I won't pack a bag for myself. I'll pack a, a bag for Ty of, of things. And I, yeah, I think it was the dead of winter, right? Valentine's Day. So. Yeah. And I remember you getting to Calgary. I think it was snow like right away. That was like the first thing you, right? It was, uh, it was like one of those, I think Calgary, Calgary weather's interesting. Because it's not like, I think the seasons are kind of like Yeah, this. and there's a Chinook at one point, like this warm, like, yeah, it's... Uh, it's yeah, like, yeah. Well, you I know, know it. Montreal weather isn't ideal either. Um, but speaking of Montreal, and they're asking in the chat here, 
did was there like was he sad and i know it's not i'm kind of pushing the envelope here for what i can know but you guys did sign for a little while and i know that tyler and you were looking for some stability were you not, like kind of upset about the trade or what was your reaction when you heard that he got traded like that i i feel like not a betrayal but you know what i mean like almost like a sadness well it's a business and it's just how it goes in sports but also i think he uh he did an interview right after it happened with Eric Engels and Ty, Ty very much said how sad I was. I remember in that video, in that interview, um, oh. which it doesn't matter what I think, you know, I mean, no, but like, it does. It really does. Right. Well, I mean, I, I, I Calgary is amazing. I just loved Montreal so much. It's just, I mean, it, it did feel like, after LA, cause LA, we thought we'd always be here. We had, you know, I it was my career, his career, <clears throat> all of our friends here, family. And there was something about Montreal that just was like the next home, you know? And um, <clears throat> it just, yeah, it just, it's just how sports, sports are crazy. <laughs> it's just, you know. Right. Well, um, at least he got to enjoy, like to me, Kat, um, that Stanley Cup run, you know, because it was, uh, it was all kind of shut down and you, you were coming in and doing interviews. We had this, we're doing this live show. That was some of the most fun that I've had, like just in general, not even working. How was that for you right away? Boom, <laughs> Stanley Cup final. It was, it was, what can I say? It was magical. And also we got so close, the girls and I, because mm -hmm. guys, obviously, um, but. Well, cause you guys just, had, there wasn't many other options, right? Like there's that too. It was a closed bubbles, right? Like. Well, there was it, everything opened up during Stanley Cup. Oh, well, you yeah. and I were talking, all of a sudden, the city's open. Whoa, this is my first time seeing it. And they're in the Stanley Cup. Like, yeah, and, and the, the the game where they went, it was St. Jean-Baptiste. I don't Did you get stuck in the building? I remember the cops and Jeff Molson saying, stay in the building. Yeah, um, it was crazy. It was really exciting. It was really, honestly, really, really cool. So, um, I mean, uh, yeah, looking back, I mean, you know, it's, it's also funny, too, because when Ty got traded to Calgary, mm -hmm. A lot of our friends are on, like, Luch, Lewis, um, Tanev. So it was so funny because when he got traded, it was like going back to some really good friends, but also being really sad. And, it, you know what I mean? Like, it was like the emotions were, like, crazy. <laughs> well, I, I think you're handling, oh, was, it, was, that, was that Dodger? Yeah, one sec. Hold on. Okay, go <laughs> ahead. Yeah, so for those that just uh, joined us, we were speaking to Kat Toffoli, one of my favorite people. And... and <laughs> While see she's she's running after Dodger in the background, during the Stanley Cup final, I got to know her fairly well, and honestly, just a really good person, just a really good person. Obviously, she's a favorite. So, if you have any questions for Cat? Oh, <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm out, girl. oh, she's so cute. Okay, and for those that don't know, is that we 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 essentially put um dodger and like she became like our mascot during the stanley cup final like that was that was pretty fun too i, I think the habs owe you like a paycheck for the amount of work <laughs> that you did during the stanley cup um i mean honestly dodger is just you know this is just what she does <laughs> oh, doo -doo. okay so i need to know here because obviously things i feel are going well in calgary um yeah. how oh she's gone again <laughs> You can hear me, so I'm going to keep talking. Um, how is Tyler feeling through all this? Because, you know, obviously great, great time in Montreal. Does he feel now that finally this is a, a place where he can kind of stretch his leg? Because you guys have wanted stability for a while. So Calgary, he, he's happy with, uh, with the situation right now? Yeah, I mean, he has, like I said, he has so many good friends on the team. Mm -hmm. um, Luch, Luch was, or sorry, Luchich was in our wedding. Um, oh. Trevor and won together. Daryl, he won with Daryl. Right. <laughs> okay. He was the coach when they won the yeah. Stanley Cup. Okay. I, I, it's actually crazy. It's very um, surreal in that way. Um, like Daryl Sutter's son, Chris Sutter, uh, he he's a big, you know, fan favorite. Yeah. He was an Hey, and now he is in Calgary again, and it's really fun to see him every game. Um, he dances, and it's just fun to cheer him on. It's just so funny. It's like kind of like LA 2.0 a little bit, um, which is just interesting. It's just so different. I mean, like I said, Montreal, we came in not knowing anyone, made the best friends, had the best time seeing them again last night. 
Calgary, he's just back with, you know, like former, former, very good friend. So Ty, Ty's just really good at fitting in, I think, anywhere, in my opinion. And I think he's just always in a good position because he's just such, he's just that kind of guy. 